Hi Amy, this is Pam. I'd like to explain to everybody today how to make their own natural lip balms at home. Um, if you're like me, you don't like lip balms that drag across your lips and leave that coating on your lips. This recipe is great because it will soak naturally into your lips and you don't need to use a lot of it. So let's start with the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a natural beeswax and you want to go as natural as possible because when you're putting that on your lips you want it to absorb and not coat your lips. Uh, we're going to use a carrier oil and in this recipe we're going to use two different carrier oils. We're going to again we're going to use in like other recipes that we have tried to use a lighter um, carrier oil and this time we're going to use a grapeseed oil and we're going to use a jojoba. Now the thing with jojoba that's great it, it mirrors our natural oil in our skin as close to any other carrier oils that are out there. So it's really nice to use and a lot of massage therapists will use this oil in their massage oils. The other item we're going to use is a coconut oil. Again this is natural so it will absorb naturally into your skin and your lips. And you always want to add a little bit of shot of vitamin E because again your skin and your body loves a vitamin E, e and it's a really nice healing um, vitamin. And then we're going to use a peppermint essential oil which is nice just to give it a little bit of fragrance. But first we're going to start with just the basic ingredients and putting everything in our pan. So we're going to start with our beeswax. I'm pouring that in our pan on our, and we're going to use a digital scale to make it as accurate as possible. So for this recipe we're going to use 0.7 ounces of beeswax. Okay, next we're going to um, add the coconut oil, and I already have that measured out, and we're going to use an eighth of a cup. And I know these amounts seem really small, but the tubes of lip balm are rather small, so I try and keep my recipe as small as possible. Um, the next we're going to add an eighth of a cup of jojoba oil. Add that to your pan and then we're going to add our next oil and like I said earlier you can use different kinds of carrier oils um, depending on your preference and what your skin likes and allergies so be mindful of that when you're making them make sure that it's healthy for your skin type um, the next thing that we're going to add in is about three drops of essential oil and then we're going to put it on our pan to let it heat up and get all the ingredients incorporated before we add it to our tubes. Okay, now that we have all our ingredients melted and incorporated together, for ease of pouring, I am just going to pour it in this smaller container. And you want to have your tubes prepared ahead of time, and this is the tray that the lip balm tubes fit in, and they easily snap in. And if you don't have one of these at home, you can also use any smaller container that you may have recycled. I'm all about recycling, so a lot of my things in my home, I just put in containers that I have. But just to show you how to fill the lip balm containers it's very easy now this particular one that we're pouring is the natural one it has no flavoring in it at all right now and you want to just fill your containers so that they kind of overflow a little bit as they harden they're going to shrink back down and that prevents having that little dimple inside your tube so I'm just going to pour four of them right now and the next step is is we're going to create one that's a peppermint and you have to be really careful with peppermint and it can be a very strong essential oil. So we're just going to put about 20 drops in this particular batch. Sorry about that, I had a count. <laughs> um, and then just swirl around, incorporate it in there. And again, you want to do the same thing. You just want to pour that peppermint oil ingredients into your tube. Let it overflow a little bit. Now if you have some left over you can pour it into a larger container 
and just store it and remelt it down when you want to fill more tubes. It's easy to store. It's not going to go bad at all. But if you don't have the tubes, the other thing you can use is a container of any size that you want and just fill it up as much as you want and you'll just let it set like you do your tubes. Now what we have to do is let this cool down and I will then show you how to remove the tubes. Now our lip balms are set up. So what I want to show you how to do is just finish them off and cap them. Really easy. You take a scraper and you scrape straight across. Do both sides. And what you scrape off, you can save. Just put in a jar and remelt later. So you're saving, usually saving and recycling all your ingredients. Turn them over, pop the tube out, put a cap on, and you're ready to go. All ready to give away as a gift or to use yourself.